What is going on everyone and welcome to the channel. So in this video, we're going over how much money you need to get started day trading or swing trading in the stock market. Now, real quick before we get started, I appreciate every single one of you guys who would smash the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this and posting here all the time. Also going live at a minimum every single Sunday night, 8 p.m. Eastern. We get all caught up on the news, on the futures, and what we're expecting for the upcoming week going over some of the top stocks. So make sure you subscribe, notifications turn on so you don't miss those live streams. But today we're going back. We're gonna bring it back to when I just got started. The early stages of trading. How much money did I get started with? How much do you need to get started with based off what I've done? I wanna preface this video and explain to you guys that for the most part, I am a swing trader. I mostly swing trade stocks as of right now. I even have a challenge going on here on the channel where I'm trading stocks to $100,000. So make sure you subscribe and you watch that playlist or go back to that playlist to check out how that challenge is going when you're watching this video. But the first thing I wanna talk about is technically, you don't need any money to get started. You could actually paper trade. You can use platforms like Webull, like TD Ameritrade, and I have some videos on my channel. Just type in paper trading in the search bar on my channel and you'll get videos for Webull paper trading if you wanna learn how to do it on Webull for free. You can also do it on TD Ameritrade. But if you really don't wanna use fake money and you wanna use real money, well, what you can also do is do it almost for free by signing up to a platform like Webull, depositing $100, and at the time I'm filming, you're gonna get three free stocks. Grab those three free stocks, sell those stocks, and then just use that money to trade small shares to get a feel for how things go before you start adding money to your account. You can even withdraw that $100 so that you're pretty much trading completely risk-free. So I know it may be kind of confusing, but it's pretty simple and you can get started without any risk just by doing something like that. Now, what did I do? Well, I wanna go back a couple years back to when I first got started and I first got started into options trading I had about two or three thousand dollars saved up in my savings and that is all I had pretty much to my name, maybe a few dollars in my checking account. Now at the time I was very early on in college, if not I was actually maybe in high school at the time, and I got started trading options and I didn't really know what I was doing and I was even holding options through earnings reports, things like that. I got screwed. I had some decent wins. I had some decent losses. And eventually I went to college and I didn't really know what I was doing. I was in options trades that I didn't know I was supposed to be in options trades. And I eventually lost all my money because with options, you technically can lose your entire initial investment or the value that you buy the option for. That could all go to zero if the option expires worthless. So that's what I did. About $2,000 all gone, lost it all. Took about a year off. Then I got back into trading. I actually took Ricky Gutierrez's course, if you guys know who he is, you probably do. Um, I even have a link down below if you ever wanna check that out. It is an affiliate link, so it does support me if, if you do check it out. That's what I got started with, so I wanted to learn, because I didn't really know what I was doing, okay? I knew stocks, I knew that, I knew how to buy and sell. I knew options and generally how that worked, but I had no idea of technical indicators. I had no idea how that stuff works. So that course for the price really got me going and it got me kind of accelerated in the process of learning all the technicals and really brought me to a step ahead. So I kind of knew, okay, here's why a stock may move here, here's how it breaks out, here's support, here's resistance, here's trend lines, I knew that stuff. So it really helped me get a better sense and a better handle on trading. I then took that, applied that to options trading with a couple hundred dollars. I was working an internship at the time, so I was funding my account with that. I was actually getting paid decently well because they were also paying for my housing. So I pretty much only had to pay for like my food and other expenses. And so I had a decent amount of money that I threw into a Robinhood account. Yes, I know Robinhood, but I was trading options. So for options trading, I think it's fine to use a broker like Robinhood. Yeah, it's not the most reliable, but it worked for what I was doing. I was trading options with Robinhood. I had some massive wins. And you guys, this is when I started the channel. You guys can go back and check out some of those videos, making like 1,500 in a day, losing a couple hundred, losing a couple thousand in a week. And I had these massive ups and downs. Honestly, didn't lose too much money ultimately with that, but I just didn't find the consistency that I was looking for. So then what I did was I was back, the next year of school started, the internship was over. I went back to school and I said, hey, how much money can I fund a new Webull account? Shameless plug, link to get three free stocks is linked in the description box and pin comment like always for Webull. So I started with my Webull account with $300. And I said, let's just try this new thing out. Let's try a different style of trading. And that's where I found the penny stocks. I found the Prosperity Trading Team, which I also linked down below. I'm still a part of that. It's a group that I pay for as well. It really accelerated my learning in terms of penny stocks. Now, you don't have to pay for courses. I'm not saying yet, this is not a video to tell you to pay for a course. No, it's absolutely not. But 
it's helped me. And so at least I tell you guys the truth. I'll tell you what I did. And long story short, I turned $300 into now $16,000 in about one year of time trading penny stocks. Now pretty much swing trading penny stocks. You may think, what? That's absolutely incredible. I will tell you that was not all profit. I've had some free stocks for referrals that I get from people that also goes into my account. I've also deposited some money along the way, but significantly over 500% profit in terms of my actual returns from trading penny stocks with an account with only $300. So I want to clear the air. You don't need that much money to get started when it comes to trading or swing trading or day trading. You really don't. My honest recommendation to you that would be to go with whatever money you're willing to lose, start there, add money to your account as time goes on, whether you win, whether you lose. So if you have $1,000 right now that you can put into an account, put in $100 or put in $200, put in a small amount, and then maybe every month you add $100 for the next six months. Do something like that so that at least over those first six months, you may be struggling. You may be you know, figuring things out, maybe identifying patterns and, and trying to figure out what style is best for you. But at a minimum, you're gonna be adding money to that account so you're not going to have to deal with the emotional stresses of, oh my gosh, I'm losing money, my account's going down, it keeps going down, down, down at least you don't see your account going down. And ideally, it would either stay the same or go up over time. But I would also recommend a cash account. The issue that you have when you're starting with under $25,000 in the US or not an offshore broker is the PDT rule. I have some videos going back a while ago how you can get around the PDT rule. Ultimately, you're gonna wanna have no restrictions on your day trades and you're ultimately gonna wanna get over $25,000 in a margin account so that you can be in and out of as many trades as you want. Now, early on, that's not a good thing, but as you get more experience as a trader, I think it's absolutely awesome to be able to get in, get out, be able to not have to worry about taking a day trade. That is ultimately, as you progress, as you know how to trade, as you start seeing certain patterns, as you start to see things more and more, that's an amazing thing to be able to do. So I think the first challenge is getting to that 25,000, and the first real hurdle is not having to think and mentally worry about day trades, because that's ultimately one of the hardest things. Mentally worrying about losing money, mentally worrying about day trades and how that can affect if you're gonna win or lose, you don't wanna be dealing with that. So get a cash account, you won't have to deal with a PDT rule, you're only gonna to have to deal with your cash settling, which is a pain to deal with as well, but it's better than having to worry about taking more than three day trades per five trading days. Fund that cash account with however much money you are comfortable with. I showed you guys how it can be done with just $300. Again, in addition to that $300, at the time, that's all I could add. But months later, as I started to have a couple more dollars in my account, as I made some more money outside of my trading, I was able to fund it little by little, but early on, I, that's all I had. I couldn't put any more in. So you don't need to have $25,000. You just need to have whatever you're comfortable with starting and learn how to go about it. You'll learn, you'll progress, and hopefully my channel is gonna be somewhat of a resource to help you in some way, shape, or form, whether it comes to investing, trading, personal finance. Hopefully I can help you guys out in some regard and get you to that consistent profitability that we're ultimately all looking for. So with that being said, hopefully this video helped you guys out. I appreciate every single one of you guys for watching to this point. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button. Leave any questions, comments down below in the comment section. I'll be getting back to every single one of you guys. Like always, links are down below to any of the resources that I mentioned in this video and that link to get three free stocks with Weeble. Start your account, create a cash account, and you'll be all set and ready to go. Make sure to subscribe and turn on the notifications so you don't miss more videos like this, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.